Throughout the recorded history, artists have created sculptures, female portraits, and paintings of women that have become world renowned. From the earliest statues of modern day masterpieces, people have always enjoyed exploring the subject matter of women in art. Perhaps it is the innate beauty and curve lines of the female form that inspired the artists who created these masterpieces. And let us not forget the women themselves, many of whom were also talented artists who painted many masterpieces, but were omitted from the art history narrative because of their gender. This video will look at some of those most iconic paintings of women. From works done by the greats like Botticelli, Titian, and Diego Velasquez, and many others. Venus with a Mirror, circa 1555 is a painting by Titian, now in the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C., and is considered to be one of the collection's highlights. The pose of the Venus resembles the classical statues of the Venus de Medici in Florence or the Capitoline Venus in Rome, which Titian may have seen when he wrote that he was learning from the marvelous ancient stones. The painting is said to celebrate the ideal beauty of the female form or to be critic of vanity or perhaps both. It was copied by several later artists including Peter Paul Rubens and Anthony Van Dyke. Titian made a number of paintings of the same subject, but this is believed to be earliest and the only version to be entirely by the hand of Titian, without additions by his assistants. It remained in his house until his death in 1576. Diego Valesquez, Rugby Venus. The Rugby Venus, also known as the Toilet of Venus, Venus at her mirror, Venus and Cupid, in Spanish, La Venus del Espejo, is a painting by Diego Valesquez the leading artists of the Spanish Golden Age, completed between 1647 and 1651. The work depicts the goddess Venus in a sensual pose, lying on a bed and looking into a mirror held by the Roman god of physical love, her son Cupid. The painting is in the National Gallery of London. In a number of ways, the painting represents a pictorial departure through his central use of a mirror and because it shows the body of Venus turned away from the observer of the painting. The Rugby Venus is the only surviving female nude by Valesquez. Nudes were extremely rare in 17th century Spanish art, which was policed actively by the members of the Spanish Inquisition. In 1813, the painting was brought to England to hang in Rugby Park, Yorkshire. In 1906, 
The painting was purchased by National Art Collections Fund for the National Gallery, London. Sandro Botticelli, The Birth of Venus. The Birth of Venus is a painting by the Italian artist Sandro Botticelli, probably executed in the mid 1480s. It depicts the goddess Venus arriving at the shore after her birth when she emerged from the sea fully grown, called Venus and Yodemon, and often depicted in art this way. The painting is in the Uffizi Gallery in Florence, Italy. In the center, the newly born goddess Venus stands nude in a giant scallop shell. The size of the shell is purely imaginary and is also found in classical depictions of the subject. At the left, the wind god Zephyrus blows at her with the wind shown by lines radiating from his mouth. He is in the air and carries a young female who is also blowing but less forcefully. Both have wings. Their joint efforts are blowing Venus towards the shore and blowing the hair and clothes of the other figures to the right. At the right, a female figure who may be floating slightly above the ground holds out a rich cloak or dress to cover Venus when she reaches the shore, as she is about to do. The floral decoration of her dress suggests she is the horror of spring. Primavera, meaning spring, is a large panel painting in tempera paint by the Italian Renaissance painter Sandro Botticelli, made in the late 1470s or early 1480s. It has been described as one of the most written about and most controversial paintings in the world, and also one of the most popular paintings in Western art. The painting depicts a group of figures from classical mythology in a garden, but no story has been found that brings this particular group together. The painting features six female figures and two males, along with a cupid in an orange grove. At the far right, Zephyrs, the biting wind of March, kidnaps and possess the nymph Chloris, whom he later marries and transforms into a deity. She becomes the goddess of spring, eternal bearer of life, and is seen scattering roses on the ground. The transformation is indicated by the flowers coming out of Chloris's mouth. In the center, and somewhat set back from the other figures, stands a Venus, red-draped woman in blue. A blindfolded Cupid aims his bow to the left. On the left of the painting, the three graces, group of three females, also in diaphanous white, translucent dresses, 
join hands in a dance. At the extreme left, Mercury, cluttered in red with a sword and a helmet, raises his caduceus or wooden rod towards some wispy gray clouds. Gustav Klimt, The Kiss. The Kiss is an oil on canvas painting with added gold leaf, silver, and platinum by the Austrian symbolist painter Gustav Klimt. It was painted at some point in 1907 and 1908 during the height of what scholars call his golden period. The painting depicts a couple embracing each other, their bodies and winded in elaborate beautiful robes decorated in a style influenced by contemporary Art Nouveau style and the organic forms of the earlier arts and crafts movement. The painting now hangs in the Ostrakish Gallery Belvedere Museum in the Belvedere, Vienna, and it is considered a masterpiece of Vienna succession. The Kiss is Klimt's most popular work after the portrait of Adele Black Bauer won. Love, intimacy, and sexuality are common themes found in Gustav Klimt's works. Portrait of Adele Black Bauer won. The painting measures 138 by 138 centimeters or 54 by 54 inches. It is composed of oil paint and silver and gold leaf on canvas. The portrait shows Adele Blackbauer sitting in a golden throne or chair in front of a golden starry background. Around her neck is the same jeweled choker Klimt included in the Judith painting. She wears a tight golden dress in a triangular shape made up of rectilinear forms. The portrait was commissioned by the sitter's husband, Ferdinand Bloch Bauer, a Jewish banker and sugar producer. The painting was stolen by the Nazis in 1941 and displayed at the Ostrakish Gallery Belvedere in Vienna. The portrait is the final and most fully representative work of Klimt's Golden Bank. That's all for today's episode. It's time to go back to our usual boring lives. But before I let you go, please note that in our next famous female figure paintings, you will find many more priceless famous paintings like Olympia by Edouard Monet, a bar at the Polybergier, the large bathers from the Pierre Augusta Renoir, dance at La Moulin de la Galette, Johannes Vermeer, girl with a pearl earring, and the milkmaid, and from William Adolphe Bogaru, the wave. Since the list is too long, I will stop here. 
Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video. See you in the next video.